I'm in Azure Active Directory and I see a list of users, but sometimes you want to create a group. By creating a group, I can add a bunch of users all into one location, so when I give access to a resource, I don't have to add each person in individually to every single resource. I'm going to click back on my domain name. And on the left-hand side, we can see we're in Azure Active Directory under the domain name, and I'm going to click on Groups. Now I can see a list of all the different groups I've already created. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new group. And then I'm going to add a user to that group. The first option we have is the group type. So if I hit the drop down, we can see we have the option for security or Microsoft 365. Security gives you access to resources such as storage, virtual machines, things like that. Whereas Microsoft 365 gives you access to email groups, distribution lists. So you can send an email to one email address and it will go to many different people. I'm going to go ahead and choose the security option because I want to give access to resources. Now I'm going to give that that security group a name. I'll give the group name Managers. Now I'll put in a description. My next option is to assign Azure AD roles to the group. And I'll choose Yes, so we can see what that's like. Now I can click on the Owners. So I'll click on the Owners, do a search. I'm going to type in Hillary's name and select Hillary as my first manager. Then I'm going to add in some members to my group. And I have a lot of different users that I can add in. I'll go ahead and choose Ben. Now, since I selected the Azure AD roles, we see the option to also add in roles. So I'll click on the roles, and we can see all these different types of Azure roles. So these give the users the ability to log into portal.azure.com and have any of the roles that you check here. Now, it doesn't have to be just one box. You could actually check a lot of different boxes if you'd like. So I will say that the managers are going to also be the security administrators, and we'll also say that they're going to be the service support administrator. Now, if you'd like to know what those do, you can go back into Azure Active Directory, select the group, and then it will tell you what those roles mean. So I'll go ahead and click Create. And we can see once we assign Azure AD roles, it cannot be changed later to remove the ability to have Azure AD roles. Now I can go in and change the roles themselves, but I can't remove the ability for those users to be able to have access to the portal.azure.com. I'm going to scroll down to my managers, or I could just do a search for them. And we can see we can go in and we can make some changes. I'll go to the Properties. I'll go to the Members, where we can add additional members. We can add additional owners. And here's the Roles and Administrators. And here I can go down to where it says Group Memberships. So we can actually add memberships of groups into groups if we see that that is something that we'd like to do. Sometimes that does save additional time. Other times, it can just make things more complicated. Creating groups allows us to add these groups of users to be able to access resources we create, such as storage, containers, virtual machines, and any other resource we add into the Azure portal.